So has uh, results from AML treatment improved uh, during the last uh, decades? Uh, we think that it should um, improve, uh, but still we don't have new, no new drugs uh, until very recently. Uh, but we have um, changed our, our supportive care a lot, um, things like that. So we had a look at in the Swedish registry, which contains almost every patient in Sweden uh, since 1997. It's uh, almost uh, uh, 8,000 patients now. And we have looked at, uh, at the changes that has occurred uh, since 1997. Uh, and uh, uh, there is an overall improvement in survival, uh, but uh, we have found some un uh, unexpected things uh, unfortunately, we haven't um, made progress in the very old patients, uh, 75 plus patients. <coughs> and uh, uh, unexpectedly, we haven't made improvements also in the patients younger than 50 years. So all of the improvement is uh, in the age group 50 to 75 years, uh, which, uh, well, uh, we could think uh, is uh, expected because a major thing that, uh, that drives the improvement is the increased uh, uh, transplantation rate. And uh, since the 1990s, we have uh, transplanted uh, much more patients, uh, 50 plus and 60 plus, and uh, now also about uh, uh, up to uh, more than 70 years. Uh, but the strange thing is that this improvement is uh, restricted to males and not females. Uh, and. Uh, the female, they did their improvement in the late 90s, uh, but uh, uh, the improvement in male survival has uh, come during the, uh, continuously during these uh, 20 years. And uh, why is that? Uh, well, we don't really know. Uh, in every population, females uh, survive longer than males. Uh, that includes all cancer uh, pa patient populations. Uh, but. Uh, and overall, uh, AML over 20 years, the females survive better. But during the last decade, it's equal survival for AML male, males versus females. Uh, what has happened? Uh, we haven't uh, changed the proportion of patients that uh, receive intensive treatment, but there are increased numbers of patients that receive hypomethylating agents as primary therapy and less that go for primary palliation. Uh, but unfortunately, this has not, uh, not uh, made uh, survival better for the older patients as far as we can see right now. The overall health in the population has increased. So we see that the, the uh, performance status at diagnosis, it has uh, improved, uh, but still without uh, major uh, differences between the sexes. So we don't really know why uh, we have managed to improve this, the, the health of uh, male AML patients, but not females.